Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be sharing another wonderful idea from this book, Hidden Potential by Adam Grant. So if you're interested in hearing about how Finland were so successful in terms of their math scores in the early 2000s, then please keep on watching. Okay, so there are so many wonderful ideas that are really applicable to education in our classroom in Adam Grant's book. And this idea is called looping. So he introduces the idea of looping and, and that's when a teacher actually stays with the same class for either two years or more. So rather than having a teacher just for the sixth grade and then the next grade you have a different teacher, you might have the same teacher for six, seven or even six, seven and eight. And there is overwhelming research and evidence of studies in schools that have showed when schools adopt that looping system because the relationships and the rapport between the students and the teachers is so strong, a lot of the academic achievement results also increase. So I just want to read a short sentence from this book. When economists studied several million elementary school students in North Carolina, they found that certain fourth and fifth grade classrooms were more likely to achieve spikes in their math and reading performance. And they traced these gains to about 7,000 teachers in particular. And so you would think, oh, is it because the teachers had more experience or they were just better teachers using other metrics? But actually what they found out in this study was that the students who actually made significant progress had the same teacher for two years. And I find that's remarkable by just changing a small structural element of the timetable and allowing teachers and students to build a stronger rapport for teachers to get to know their students a lot better. It has positive ramifications on student achievement. Now, I know this is not the normal practice in, in many schools where normally we might have a specialized teacher for one particular grade level, but I'm going to really try and encourage us to think about different ways that we can really get to know our students. And perhaps looping is one of those strategies that we could consider. In it, Early in my career in the 90s, I actually had the same form class. It wasn't necessarily mathematics, but it was the same form class from grade eight all the way up to grade 12. And so I really got to know them through the grades. I provided that constant care and I really knew all of my students really well. And one of my students I still keep in touch with, she's actually, I think, in her early 40s now and became a teacher. And so I think we shouldn't really underestimate that power of getting to know our students over a series of years. Ideally, if it's as a subject teacher, we could loop for two or three years just to try it. And I think it's really important for teachers to have that knowledge and understanding of subject discipline material that's a few years after the grade level, as well as a few years before. So you might teach a particular grade level such as grade eight, but it's quite important that you actually have an understanding of the material that's taught in grade nine and also the material in grade seven. It gives us that overview and it allows us to see where the students are going and where the students have come from. So I hope that you find the idea of looping an interesting idea for you to try. If you already do it in your schools, please share your stories in the comments section below. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.